Mankind, right? Yes. Mankind. Or Mick, whatever you like. Mick, so uh, what brings you down here today? Uh, shameless plugs for my book. <laughs> so why don't you why don't you go over like kind of the history of what you uh, your relationship with the show? I, I, I started uh, as a big fan. Actually, I was a Howard hater for about a year. You know, I'd hear my my friends talking about Howard Stern. I tried not to like him. He won me over. I became like a big Howard fan. You know, and so uh, when I was on here in '88, it was to, to some people, you know, it was the biggest peak of stardom you could possibly imagine. You know, I actually had friends like who thought I was cool now because I was on Howard's show. Uh, unfortunately, I, I was living in Atlanta for about five years, and they didn't carry Howard. You know, they thought he was right not fit for the southern airwaves or something and uh and last time you came up you came up with as just as cactus jack it's cactus jack right and a friend of fred the elf friend of fred the, and i'm still a friend of fred the elf even though i'm ashamed at some of the rumors I, I hear about him so uh but fred was actually the only wrestling uh luminary at my wedding eight years ago so fred showed up you know so uh so yeah I mean, just, the fact that i don't return his phone call doesn't mean that i don't like him <laughs> hey, Fred. How you doing? Yeah, doing? You okay? No, I'm not with Kelly. What's he doing? I, Should you guys want to oh, see uh, me? I'm not, I'm not saying anything in public. I think I know he's here. So, you won't see so, public, won't, so, I think I say anything, so you cannot use me. Okay. That doesn't stop them. <laughs> Why? You want to hug? Do you want to hug? Well, yeah, let's redo this. Fred, come in like we never met. And, uh, like we no, 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 I don't act. Oh, no, I'm not afraid I'm to give you a hug. I'm si no, I'm serious. I don't, I, I don't want any more bullshit in my life. So why are you so, here? Fred, what's the matter? I don't know. Yeah, I, I like his, no, I'm not saying nothing about the cameras. Fred, this really isn't the place to be if you don't want to be in... I know. <laughs> okay, I know. Right? <laughs> You're going to be on the radio, right? I'm sure. Oh, like you, I'm different. Fred, why are you so upset? I'm not upset. Am I? You seem upset. I should be the one upset. He uh, cheapened my friendship with him. No, that that did, but I'm not getting into it. Okay. Fred, I still respect you. Yeah. Give him a hug. Right. Handshake. No, I'm uh, a hugger. I'm a hugger. Don't uh, spill the coffee, though. I got you. Okay. <laughs> got you. Are you happy? <laughs> no, I'm not saying nothing more. You're not going to say anything else? Are you upset because I don't return your phone calls? No? You sure? I'm not upset. I don't know. I'm busy. <laughs> I feel no, bad. No, no, no. No, Does Fred no, call no, you a lot? A little too much. Yeah. Oh, so, well, I apologize. <laughs> a little yeah. too often, maybe. No. <laughs> hey, in a couple of seconds, we're going to be meeting um, Mankind, formerly Cactus Jacket. What is it, Gary? Both? You know, I'm really starting to dislike. Who? It's really pissing me off that I just had a big Bobby fight Bowie. with. Who? Elephant Boy. Why? And you know, he's been acting very strange. Even Ganji said he's been acting very strange since this whole video thing went down. Why? What does he want from us? You know, he just, he, oh, he almost walked out. I had a catch Why? the elevator. What happened? How could you know, he have walked out? He's so wacky. You, you know, he's on with Cactus uh, with Mankind today. Right? right, right. So I wanted to keep them separated so they could see each other on the air. Mm. I thought that would be producing a good way. Yeah, right? that sounds good. So we told them to stay in one room. He walked out. We asked him to go back. He walked out again. He yelled at Casey, and he says, I, I don't like the way I'm being treated, and he started to leave. So I caught him at the elevator, and he started like yelling at me that we treat him like crap, and he's sick of being what? treated like this. And I said, and I started getting mad. Well, let's said, let now. Now he's going to be an A. Get. Let's hear. It. Let's get him in here. Yeah. So I said, Fred, what are you being such a baby for? And he's like, You guys don't let me do what I want to do. And I, oh, I yeah, so yeah. the Ganji went to interview him, and he wouldn't be on camera. And he oh. said, I know that I wasn't going to get my personal time with Cactus Jack, and he's my friend, and you guys are trying to keep us apart. Oh so my the, god. So then after he hangs out with him. He says, now I'm going to go back up front. And Ganji goes, well, now you might as well stay here. It's no big deal. Oh. But he's like really acting strange. So you had to take him back to Cactus wow. Jack to shut him up? Get his, ass in, get his ass in here. If I didn't take him back to meet Mankind, he'd have left. You couldn't say to him you can have personal time after? I bring in Elephant Boy first before you bring in Mankind. Guys, can we bring him in? I said to Fred, I said, Fred, you listen to the show. You understand Elephant Boy, works. what's going on with you? Are you having a mental breakdown? I think he is. I think you're having a nervous breakdown. I straighten out that whole porno situation for yeah, you. Well, I think for that, it's, it's that I know that after I uh, do his thing, he, he will probably leave to do something else. Dude, he's not your boyfriend. That's he's what I'm trying not, to tell you. I say what. Oh, if you want to call it that, you know. I'm not I'm calling sorry. that. You're in love with him. Uh, if you say so. You need yeah. special alone time with Cactus, I mean, Mankind? 
Look, oh. you were at the guy's wedding. If you're not hanging out anymore, I don't know why you're not hanging oh. out anymore. But we're not here to create your personal time with mankind. Okay, excuse we're doing me, a show. Nappy, 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 you should not fought me. I'm sorry to waste your time. Oh. Every, and every you minute, you're always, you can't you. even talk to you anymore. Now you're like, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. You're always quitting. No, I know. Every I know, minute you're quitting I know, the show. I know it's for, it's for, it's for fun. Uh, let me make one part that you did not to say. <laughs> I never say that I quit because I was happy with the video, but yes, you did. people no people who know me, I talk about this for some time now. You did everything you can with me. What's what's How do you new? Know that? Fred, there's more to it than that. Okay. Somebody's talking to you or you have it in your mind that you're that you're done with no, us. Yeah. Not that we're done no, with you. No. But you're done. Why are you deciding for us it's that not, we're done with you? Not that I'm I, now, somebody I, got a hold of you yeah. and is wrecking you. Yeah, what's your problem? And doing a number on your head because you're easily yeah. influenced. I saw I, that I, with oh, how yeah, that I am naive. I would be the first to admit that. So who got a hold of you? That girlfriend? No, not 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 to Didn't she get you into the Porno? If, no. Uh, Is it those porn people? No, no, he's, he's no, done with them. No, I'm, I'm, I'm done with them. If I don't hear, if I don't hear from them for 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 our eternity, it's too soon. <laughs> mm. But so so <laughs> all I'm saying, is, I got upset because they they got him into this porno yeah. and he wasn't getting paid, and right. I got upset and after he insulted me and said I don't care about and him and tried to walk out. And that I don't, yeah, and I only no, care about I myself. Walk out there. I mean, I, I I'm you're always walking the, off the yeah. show. Somebody's got some. Someone's getting some thought into your head. And you keep saying we've done everything we can with you. What does that no, mean? Me. Why don't you just be honest and tell us, uh, Just because no, I can tell that you're feeling bad about something, so just be honest and tell you're us. You're looking for a reason for us to get yeah, rid of you. You're trying to make us, you're no. trying to make us break up with you. Uh, no, uh, uh, no. Uh, Every course, time we get course, close to you, you did. throw, you push us away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think, I think, you know, I, I think the humanity that come with it, I tell you, there's some good times I'm on to show and some bad times I've been on to show it even out. And? I can, you know, enough of both. You All know? right, let me ask you something. You're tired of nothing, us. I have nothing, I have nothing, I can't, I can't sit by, you know, but I feel in the long run. I have to. Where are you going? You're gonna be president? Uh, no. What you, are Bobby, you saying? Bobby, nothing much will happen to me after after here. If you want to know something? It's not that bad anymore. What's well, not that bad? You know, life. No, so if, if 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 he leaves here and his life goes back to what it used to be, it'll be okay. But I'm mm. saying he's acting. Yeah, sure. Uh, he's got some reputation to protect. I know. Right, so anyway, you love what what reputation? I have I have before. So, is so all elephant gone. boy, elephant boy. Yeah. <laughs> we book Mankind yeah. to be on the show. Yeah. Formerly Cactus Jack, who you know on a personal look because you go to all the wrestling matches yeah, and you but love wrestlers. I know, but I also know, know his family. You know, it's right, not, right. It's so, not so the wrestler So we family. bring you down here today because yeah. it would be interesting to have you on with Mankind. Yeah. And then we put you in separate rooms to keep it fresh, to keep yeah, it real. Yeah, we want to see you and then right away, him for the first And then right away, you're threatening to walk out. What's your problem, yeah, man? Yeah, Get I it together. Say, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, uh, uh, I should, but, you know, as I said before, I want I want have time to talk to him, you know, before the show. I want to have time to talk to him after the show. What are you going to talk to him about? I want, Do you think the guy doesn't want to be bothered? So, I, I mean, you know, you, you, I'm trying to protect you from yourself. You're being uh, a prima donna. Oh, I need to talk to Katya Chaka first. Or I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. There's a little baby. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm leaving. But, and yeah. we're trying to produce a show. Mm. I said to Fred, I said, Fred, you've been listening to this show. Fresh. You've been listening to this show for 15 yeah. years. You know this show. Yeah. That you, that's how we keep it fresh. Yeah, but I, I, we make it fresh. No, no, you're yeah. no actor. Let me <laughs> yeah. It would have been interesting to hear what you had to say to mankind back no, in the room. Just, right. No, just like, hello, how you doing? And yeah. you couldn't wait to do that here. Uh, well, it may be busy after. No, I mean, you couldn't wait to say hello, how you doing, when you got here. Uh, some some parts I don't want to come off of the air. It may be too boring for you. you it's guys. not boring at all when you're involved. Oh, no, right. thank you. Watching you romance Cactus Jack is I, funny. It's not a romance. I could listen to you read a phone book. <laughs> right. Okay. By the way, I and like the name Cactus Jack better than I do Mankind. Mankind, yeah. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. yeah. I, don't think, I don't know. But yeah. he seems to have done very well. Well, with you it. know, you know, uh, how come how come Cactus Jack changed his name to Mankind? They want to give him a new character. Oh. And the new character was a uh, misanthrope of society. A what? I, I know what he said. What do you say? A what? A misanthrope? Misanthrope of society. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, so why don't we bring in uh, Mankind? As now he that you've that. already seen him. Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't need me now, so come on. No, no. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, you are weirdo. I'm, 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 I'm just kidding. Become, I'm just kidding. You know what he's become? He needs special attention. Yeah. yeah. He just needs special attention. He's a he big needs star. His personal time with us. He needs his personal time with mankind. He needs his personal time. Mankind. <laughs> we need. It's Cactus Jack. It's Cactus Jack. That ain't no mankind. <laughs> Howard, uh, just give me a second. Me and Fred need our personal time. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, Fred, now, you got, now you're sitting right next to mankind. And how yeah. close is this? <laughs> uh, Howard, I'll be honest. I'm not afraid to hug Fred in spite of everything oh. I've heard. Oh, Give him a nice hug. Give him a hug. You're going to break his neck. Yeah, you know, I, think I, think, I think I'm in some like to us. Look at, look at Elfin Boy light up when he is wow. near mankind. Oh, look at that. Look at him. I'm just saying. <laughs> you are smitten. Smile, I, think. No, I don't think so, dude. No, no. <laughs> he can't even because look at him right now. Elfin Boy, would you make love to mankind if he asked you to? No. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, yeah. He that's what you want to ask. believe. That's the wrong question. <laughs> yeah. I want to do. I want to do rap and Tom. Um, <laughs> mankind will be my stop a second. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you, Fred. Mankind, <laughs> you had you had Elephant Boy to your wedding. <laughs> Fred was isn't this back in 1990? You never call him Elephant Boy. Never. No, I've that's never his character. Him I know. I know. Yeah, but I'll, call him Mick, I'll call him Mick. I'll call him Mick. He calls me Fred. Oh, you call oh, Mick his real yeah, name? You, you call, call me Mick. All the fans call me Mick. No, no, I call you Mankind. I don't. Dig mankind either. <laughs> Who gave you that name, Vince McMahon? No, actually, uh, I came in the office. You know, uh, they didn't want poor Cactus Jack. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, if if I had it uh, Vince McMahon's way, I was going to be Mason the Mutilator. So oh, really? I couldn't live with that, so I came up with Mankind the Mutilator, and uh, they never did add the the second Mutilator part. All right, I like it. So I, I dig mankind, but uh, you can call me Cactus. Fred's always called me Mick. Um, I didn't even know about this. What about Elephant Boy? About this whole yeah. yeah. Well, Elephant Boy, we put it, we put you guys in a separate room yeah. because I knew Elephant Boy's a big fan. It's always funny how he fawns over you, because <laughs> Elephant Boy, you know, Elephant Boy sometimes is into guys. Yep. And he used I didn't to know that. Right, I know. I didn't know that. And and you know, he used to hang around when Mankind was Cactus Jack. He used to go into the locker room. Yeah, and he used to watch Cactus Jack um, undress and stuff. He used to pass me notes in the dressing room. Right. <laughs> right. No, and not, then, not those scarf notes. But Elfo Boy would be in the dressing room with all the wrestlers watching but, him change. Uh, but make if I ever act in a pop in and a puppy with you well, yes. the other guy. Fred, you that are is. known throughout the wrestling industry as a little bit of a pecker checker. <laughs> oh, is that right? No way, man. No way. You never <laughs> stare. <laughs> seem to, you may be yeah, right. Uh, Alvin yeah. Boy, when you're in the locker room, you, you never look at a guy's no. penis. Oh, no, that's a, a lot. It's inappropriate. What, do you want me to kick? Uh, that's inappropriate. If a guy's naked, let me tell you, if a guy's naked in front of you, you don't look. At the they also lots of pretty ladies get dressed up there. I don't. You know, I, I respect, I respect them right there. No, you don't look at the ladies or the guys. Is what yeah. No, no, because it's not, it's, you're not supposed to. You treat them as, as professionals. That's just something I treat, you know. But Mickey. does he still come, does he come to the WWE? Uh, watch you? No, Howard, let me make something clear. How, uh, there was a time when they had uh, Hank, Henry, the uh, angry, Hank. drunken dwarf, Hank. was there. Yeah, Hank, Hank, yeah. I was trying to be formal. Uh, right. Hank, the angry, <laughs> drunken dwarf was there. Uh, crackhead <laughs> Bob was there. And they right. had another guy, I guess, from your show. And right. Fred was there. The other guys all kept their little corner. They had their own private star dressing room. And Fred was uh -huh. the guy freely uh, roaming, you know, roaming, yeah, roaming because, around. Because yeah, they I, know me. I know some of these guys before they came to the top of top. It's a... <laughs> I like you two are my talking for me. They Aren't most of the fans like younger kids? Like, I, I mean, isn't Elephant Boy a little old no, to be no, into actually, wrestling? Actually, no. I had, for a while, it was uh, a, lo a lot of kids. Now it's yeah. it's actually there's uh, there's no. Uh, the Elephant Boys have taken over. <laughs> no, <laughs> Elephant Man. No, I've been mad. Actually, intelligent people watching yeah. our show. Uh, right. They, you know, we have a lot of kids. Older Come on, people. man. Come I'm not kidding you, Robin. If they wrap it, I wrap it. If it, if it, if the top of the top nothing but kiss, they wouldn't go into an IP all. I'm not saying there's more uh, yeah. adults, but he said intelligent. That's Elephant all. Boy, did you, you buy there. Elephant Boy, did you buy stock <laughs> no, in I the WWE? No, but oh. I didn't know how to get on the inside track because I he will. He only knows how to get in the locker room. Right, right. yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Oh. What about you, Mankind? Did you uh, did you get any of the stock options? Uh, yeah, I sure did. Oh, you did. Good for yeah, you. I'm a, a little bit wealthier today than I was. Oh, oh that's, well, that's impressive. Well, that's you. good to see one of the performers making some money. Uh, sure. yeah. uh, mankind would treat me to lunch. 
I don't that. know about that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So an elephant Are boy. Are you two not seeing each other anymore? Well, you know, well, the because it's based with a schedule. Excuse me, I'm talking oh, to Robin. I, it's true. I, I have been kind of busy, but uh, really, there is no excuse for not returning the past several of Fred's uh, love calls. Oh. No, not love calls. Oh. Howard, can I tell you something? This is uh, yeah. going back several years. When I stopped answering Fred's phone calls, is right around the time of Butt Bongo Fiesta. Right. Fred lent me the tape, yes. and I watched it. Yes. I enjoyed it. Thank uh, you. My wife came down, asked me if I was watching porno. Right. I told her no. Well, yeah. <laughs> she watched it, uh, came to a different conclusion. Right. So I was in a little bit of trouble at home there for a couple of days. Yeah. I lost the tape. Yes. I explained that to Fred. He left a message on my machine yeah. with the words "Butt Bongo Fiesta." No, I can't do Fred's voice, but just try to imagine yeah. every day. Butt Bongo Fiesta. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that at Every all. day for about three months, there was the words "Butt Bongo no, Fiesta" on you, my answer machine. I can afford to call you three every day for three months. Well, you know, Fred is. I mean, Elephant Boy is so wild for you. Oh. And if you needed something, I, he would want you to yeah. get it. I, I, no, I, nev I never asked you for anything. No, no. Oh. He asked you for something and wait, you wait, wanted oh. to give it to him. Ron, no. he was just asking if he could hang out with me. He invited himself to hang out with me after the show. Right. And, uh, right. So Elephant Boy now, uh, what did he? The Elephant Boy was insistent that he get into the green room to see you. Before. Mankind. Personal yeah. time. It's right. important. <laughs> yeah, he needed personal time with you. I agree with you. I thought the idea of us, we haven't seen each other in a, a couple of years, I guess. Right. Yeah, and on the air reunion. On the air reunion. I thought that was exciting. No, but, but Elephant Boy threatened to walk up because he needed special alone time we with you. We were trying to keep him from having yeah. would you, uh, Mankind, would you be kind enough to recreate, an Elephant Boy, if you'd be kind enough, to recreate the moment when you two gazed into each other's eyes a few minutes ago in our green room? Oh. Okay. I tell you what I said. Hey. Fred, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> I don't think you said that. I said, I'm here to publicize a book, not yeah. to hang out with you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, okay, I was That's that pretty much it. It yeah. wasn't quite as romantic. Well, I'm happy I that uh, you now have become mankind, and obviously you're doing a lot better than you were as Cactus Jack. Well, yeah, because you stopped hanging out with Elephant. <laughs> yeah, right. You were a real loser when you were Cactus <laughs> Jack. <laughs> when I was here, I was the first wrestler to ever be on the show. That's right. The only reason I was on the show was why? Because Elephant Boy. Him. Right. Elephant yeah. Boy. I was, I was riding on his coattails. <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, one of your people said, you know, it were you able to become famous off of you know Howard's show? And I said, well, nah. that's cool <laughs> like it is. Maybe for a couple of weeks, you know, I got by on that. Right, but, right. You know, no, that, you did that, it on your own. That only that won't oh. get you by the next eight years. So yeah, last several years have been very good. Mankind has paid the bills a lot better than that. Cact Cactus Jack. Yeah, did. Mankind's one of the most popular characters in the WWE. Oh, is look he at still Elephant your Boy. favorite? Elephant Boy's smiling. I know, but is he still Elephant Boy's favorite? Not really. He don't give me special time. <laughs> is he still <laughs> your favorite? Let me, let me just keep quiet. I like your friend to me. Do you order those, you order those pay per view specials and stuff, uh, Elephant Boy? Sometimes. You do. Yeah, but so, not every single one. Right. And you can, and you could, uh, you can, uh, do you watch what Mankind? What you order? Oh, here's it because Mankind steals the show. It's one of the. Oh. Best performer. One he thing loves he did. No, I mean, I call a spade a spade. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I put on a pretty good show out there, right? Howard. Right. Uh, right. But isn't it true, mankind? My, mankind stole your heart. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Oh, you know what I mean. You know, uh, I gotta admit, in the wedding photos, Fred was the only wrestling luminary at my wedding. <laughs> he looked angry. Uh, <laughs> Jealous. I didn't put it together until just a little while ago. Have no one can. <laughs> Elephant Boy, were you a bridesmaid at Mankind's? Oh, no. no. Did he come with a date? <laughs> his no. brother. Yeah. 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 Brother. <laughs> came with his brother. <laughs> wow. So Mankind is still your favorite. Yeah, but yeah, among among some, um, but your very favorite. Who's your I'd very favorite? Say, oh, Stone Cold. Wait, and it's oh. <laughs> Stone Cold. Stone Cold, pretty well. Yeah. He would never hang with you. That's I know. Right. You mean you, you, me, mankind is your me. friend? Stone Cold. You know Cold what it hang. is. You know no. what it is. You mm. always want the one you right. can't get. Right. <laughs> Would you like to see <laughs> Alpha Boy? Would you like me to get into the locker room with Stone Cold and you can watch him change? No. Oh. You, you know wouldn't? what? I could let you be in there. I could get a range. I wouldn't care. Elephant you could see him wouldn't... nude. I, w oh, yeah. I wouldn't care. You know. You see, you see you mankind. Mean, you've seen mankind naked, right? No. It's never happened. I no. made sure it never happened. Really? But you've seen him down to uh, no. I thought about that. Trunks. <laughs> Do you like Stone Cold because he has a bigger bulge in his wrestling tights? Oh. I wouldn't know. Uh. And if I did, I wouldn't care. Right. But how can you leave us when we are the people who could actually introduce you to Stone Cold? 
Well, I met I met Stone Cold. Yeah, but you haven't yeah. like sat on no, no, a couch with him no. that close. Stone Cold. You haven't helped yeah. Stone Cold. Mankind's a real man over there. He's a real no, flesh and blood man who's willing to be in a locker room with you. Uh, Mecca Howard, what happened with the steak gas? One of the most spectacular shots you have ever seen. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> you know? Mankind, when are you going to get your teeth fixed? You're never going to do it? You well, like I'll it that never, way? I'll never get them fixed. Is that part yeah. of the Mankind well, character? I, I'll uh, bring it back. I know Howard probably doesn't remember. It's a very small moment in his life. The first time I walked in the studio and Howard yeah. saw me, he said, and he wasn't a wrestling fan, had no right. idea what to expect from wrestling. He said, man, can I wear Cactus Jack at the time? Looks like you're missing a couple teeth. And I right. Howard said, well, they're gone, but I don't miss them. And he, <laughs> and he laughed just like that. Ah, that's a good line. Saw, it's not a bad line. Now, you've written an autobiography. That's it, true. It's a very substantial Is it your book. autobiography or Mankind? No, Mankind. <laughs> well, at one point, they weren't even going to put Mick Foley on the bottom. And I said, but Mankind didn't write it, you know. Right, Mick Foley wrote yeah, it, which yeah, is your real name. Me, yeah. And uh, I want to ask you about this book. Sure. And you, you, it's the book is called Mankind, Have a Nice Day, A Tale of Blood and Sweat Socks. Oh. What, who is this guy who wants to meet mankind? Uh, he's just the, the world. He says he's the world's biggest mankind. Fan. It's, it's interesting to see someone who is such a fan of yours that is obsessed with you. Here he is. Let's let's talk to him. Wow. Now, have you ever met your hero before, mankind? No, I haven't, Howard. You haven't. Well, there, go gaze upon him. Look at him. Just look at. Don't don't come close to him. No, just look just at him. Stay there. Yeah, he don't want to rest you. Just keep put your headphones on. Okay. Put your headphones on. This yeah, what has got stalker written all over him? <laughs> Are you a stalker? No. You, you don't presently have a girlfriend, do you? I have a fiance, Mick. And does she dig me too? Yeah. Really? So tell me about it. I, I see you have a mankind doll in your pocket. Yeah, I got two of them. Right now, how old are you? I'm 24, Howard. 24. Are you think you're a little old to be uh, walking around with a doll of uh, mankind? Nah. Is that the talking doll? Nah, I don't have the Titan Tron <laughs> figure yet. They do have a talking yeah. doll. Yeah. Do you have a lot of male fans? Is that the problem? Do you, wouldn't you like to have a few girls be into you? The truth is, I always thought, I always knew I had the male fans. I'm actually getting female fans. You are. It's scary, yeah. 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 You know who's a big fan? Who? Janine. Oh, Janine. Janine. Oh, the porno star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Janine? The, the lovely porno star. Really? Yeah. You, can't, uh, you can't bang her because you're married now. No, that's true. That's too but, bad. But I can look at her. Well, I'll tell you what. Because you're such a big fan, you came down here. Tell, why don't you say something what do you to mankind? To why don't you say something? What does he mean to you? Yeah, now tell, tell us what you want to say, and then we'll throw you out of here. Go ahead. Mick, I just wanted to say, uh, through all my life, you've been a great inspiration in my life. Uh, as a kid, um, even when he was Cactus Jack, definitely Cactus right. Jack. Go ahead. Make as a kid, I was picked on, made fun of, much like you explained with the Mankind character. Yes. And you just brought an inspiration to my life, just to make me follow my dreams and make me know that I could do everything that's possible. <laughs> what have you done? Yeah, yeah. What did you do with your life that he inspired you? <laughs> well, what you would call it? A lot of times. Uh, <laughs> through college and stuff like that. A lot of people said I couldn't do things. Like I work in uh, music, I put out an album and just believed in myself to know that I could accomplish my dream. Right, right. Where's your album? Uh, <laughs> it's in his garage. <laughs> no, actually it's on sale in a really? lot of the underground record stores, upstairs records. Okay. All right, so you've done something with your life because of mankind. Oh, there you go. I like what, what do you do besides uh, records? Uh, I'm presently a, a legal assistant, and I also uh, work in uh, the music industry. Oh, all right, okay. That's that's really nice, and I like that. But more importantly, where would he have wound up without mankind? He probably would have been a legal assistant working in a record store. <laughs> <laughs> So, so thanks to mankind, you have now succeeded beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> you became a legal assistant. Well, good. I'm, I'm, thank you, mankind, for that. I like to see you thank turning you, Mick. the youth of America straight. <laughs> Believe it or not, I get a lot of letters like you that. You do. Yeah. Well, that's good. Motivational yeah. letters. Yeah. So you help this gentleman, an elephant boy. That's true. That's nice. You're on a roll. Tomorrow, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we got a paramedic coming in here who wants to thank you. Well, nice to meet you. Thanks, and uh, thank you for coming in and meeting mankind, thanks. formerly Cactus Jack. How do you think this guy would like an on-air hug? You want a hug from yeah, mankind? Yeah, I'm secure enough to, to do yeah. that. Come All on. Right, go ahead. Yeah, he's, he's man enough to hug another man. There's nothing wrong. Look, look at Cactus Jack. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. Look at this. It's <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Look at Elephant Boy. That is beautiful. Don't say thing. Thank you. Now, what about this guy who died, Owen Hart? Were you friendly with him, mankind? The guy who yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah, very good friends with him. Are you nervous that you might uh, die in what the are ring? You, are you leaping into the ring? Or you don't flying? leap. Occasionally. You do I've, leap. I've had a couple of uh, had a couple close calls. Yeah. Now the but draws I, I mean, is all messed up. I don't mean to make light of Owen's death. My wife's very afraid. I mean, I've had a couple bad uh, bad episodes. Yeah. I think uh, actually in the documentary there's one of them uh, detail where my, unfortunately my kids were sitting about five feet away. Oh, dear. Get hammered relentlessly. Right. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, been one of my calling cards. I've taken a lot of 
physical punishment. Right. And I'm, I'm trying to back off that. I see. Howard. Trying to back off it. Yeah. Remember the tape we showed you about a year ago, the guy that was on top of the cage, and he fell off the cage onto a desk yes. on yeah. his back? Yeah. That was him. That was oh, you. Yeah. yeah, right. You took a fall. I remember yeah. when I showed you a tape the other day where the guys were beating each other over the head with chairs that were on fire? Yeah. That's him. That was oh, me. man. Yeah. You got to be careful. Yeah, I saw you get beat over the head with a chair with, uh, that was on fire. <laughs> I remember you know that. I'm, I'm beginning to believe the WWE. There's a bunch of stunt guys who really don't know how to do stunts. Yeah, why do they train you guys? <laughs> well, that's not really a stunt, you know. I mean, Kim, you know pretty neat. Nice. We did a Super Bowl commercial last year. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when I came out, I did my little part where I said we're trying to make the world a better place for mankind. When I came out, the stuntmen were all watching my match, this hell in the cell where I got thrown off the top of the cage. Mm -hmm. All the stuntmen were sitting around watching this match, shaking their heads. Uh, when I came back about a half an hour later, they're still watching this damn tape. And they were like, you know, pressing me for secrets. I was like, you know, there's there, no are there are no secrets. There are no secrets. Guy throws, just, <laughs> guy throws you and you fall. Yeah, it's it's it. dangerous. I wish I knew the true secrets of professional <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe there's a special way they, to fall. They yeah. just don't learn that it's a stunt. Yeah, like stuntmen will fall off a building, but they go into these big soft pillows. Right. They you, don't really do it. Right. You actually get thrown onto a yeah. table. Uh, Kim, yeah. you're on the air with Mankind. Good morning, everybody. How yes. Go ahead. Mankind. Yes, ma'am. I just want to tell you that I think you're nuts. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, he's really crazy, Howard. Hey, you're a big fan is what you're saying. Yes, I am. I he see. He does a lot you. of crazy things. But listen, I'll tell you what. If but you he read... doesn't get enough respect, though. That I will say. Why do you hate uh, Sable, the um, <laughs> the uh, the the uh, former female wrestling star? Why do I hate her? Yeah. H how did you get word that that was I heard her? you don't like her. Well, you know, is that true or not? You will not badmouth her on the air? I don't think we're allowed to badmouth her. As a matter of fact, the legal people took out all my good Sable and Mark Merrow jokes out of the book. Oh, they did? Yeah. Uh, so you, were, you, you in the book, you wanted to trash her, but you couldn't. I could not legally I see. trash her. But I do not think she was talented, and uh, I think her lawsuit was ridiculous. Uh, you do not you do not like that? Uh, no, I just thought it was ridiculous. You thought that was crazy? I thought, you know, I, like, I mean, these are harmless little jokes. I said that uh, she was the person responsible for p replacing Tiny Tim as the least talented person ever make a million dollars. Wow. Is that slander <laughs> to you? <laughs> no, that's uh, just your not, opinion. That's just my opinion. I think right. I'm entitled to it. Wow, you must have had a real... Did you have a, a run-in with her? Was she mean to you? No, the thing is, she actually used to be very nice to me. I right. knew her way before she was Sable, and her husband was a good friend of mine. And right. it was just like, I think the turning point was when she was on uh, Donnie and Marie, and all of a sudden, uh, it was like you tried to get a hello out of her, and it was like twisting, uh, you know, pulling teeth. Oh, she changed. She became a big star. Uh -huh. Did you see Nicole Bass get sexually harassed? I mean, I'm, I want to meet the man that sexually harassed her. Howard, she was on your show talking about wrestling is like a family, right? Like right, right, right. Her. There's one place that someone like her could be accepted. Someone like Nicole and uh, and uh, Elephant Boy, Elephant <laughs> Boy in the same room. Other than this show, it'd be a, a professional wrestling <laughs> dressing room. No, I never saw any harassment taking place. I can guarantee you, it wasn't on my part. Right. You know, Frank, go ahead. You're on the air with Mankind. He has a new book. And he'll be signing copies of his autobiography and what a life it's been. All right, can I uh, get a cheap plug in here? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I actually wrote the book. So you did. Uh, you yeah. really wrote this. I wrote it. I wrote right. it by hand. This was actually. all your idea. Uh, actually, I had a writer, and uh, the, it was coming out so poorly that uh, I started from scratch, and I, uh, I, I did it myself. You did right. the writer. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't think this book was supposed to be about what kind of food I like to eat as a child, you know. Right. You really wanted to tell your life yeah, story, yeah. Which, is, which is actually kind of fascinating. Fascinating. Is um, it his life story or mankind's? I can't figure this out. It's my life story. No, it's his. It's Mick Foley's. It covers okay. my life from the time I was 18 till now. You'll learn uh, things like his mom would irrigate his ears when he was a kid. <laughs> right? And didn't she? And things the size of marbles would fall out of Is that true? That is true. You had a lot of stuff in your ears? That's true. Your father was a coach and athletic director? That's true. And uh, that's how you got into sports. Yeah. Father wanted you to be like a real athlete, and this is. Uh, are like you a disappointment to him? No, no, not at all. Right. No, and, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm a big success to my mom because now I'm a wrestler slash author. You wrestled in high school, and you cried after losing a big match. One big match, yeah. But did you? But how are you? That's throw why it? Elephant hey. Boy likes you. <laughs> yeah, he thinks you're sensitive. Swooshing. Right. for seven years. Frank, Frank you're, on the air. you're on the air with uh, <laughs> mankind. Yes. Hello, Howard. Yes. Yes, uh, first I want to say F, Tom, and Timmy, and Penelope Lipschitz. All right, whatever. And also, um, I don't know if uh, Elephant Boy remembers, but one time I was in U.S. Customs, where he works, and a bunch of people were picking on him, spraying him with Lysol. 
Why? And uh, I came over and actually BS, police stopped. BS, I was BS. one of those guys, Howard. I can attest to that. What? Yeah. I was spraying elephant boy with Lysol. Nope. All right. Is I this mean, not true? I admit to that. Elephant no. boy, this is not true? No. And then after that, he took me out for some coffee. Yeah, right. And we went to a hotel room. Yeah, And he yeah. tied me up. I, oh, hey, I don't, actually, don't make fun of him in front of uh, mankind. It really yeah, upsets he's him. He's being a guy. He's trying to be a man. Well, he asked uh, me if I could get him in the submissionary uh, wrestling uh, position. To me, if I uh, go back to the rock you came from. Well, obviously, oh, yeah. Elephant Boy really yeah. told him off. Thanks. No, you don't like that in front of uh, mankind. Um, you're, you're into if girls. I'm, right. if, I'm, if, if it was true, I would admit it. Right. You Not were a virgin. You mankind, you were a virgin when you went to college? That is correct. And uh, some girl... Thanks for bringing that up, too. <laughs> well, why was that? Are you not an attractive man? I see no, you no. now. You're very attractive. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. Oh, I, was, uh, I was shy, you know. I, right. I, I had a good rap. I couldn't close the deal, though. And plus, my ambitions were a little too high. I, I would focus on the real good-looking girls, and they'd shoot me down. Right. And uh, you even had a girl once offer you a fellatio, and you turned her down. Isn't that true? Uh, no, I don't think I turned it down. I think, uh, I think uh, she, when she asked if I could kiss her, I proceeded to... You know, give about the worst kiss possible. I think I mentioned in my book that foreign soccer players kiss each other better after scoring a goal. So, so you were not a good lover? Uh, uh, not at that time. You're a good lover now? Uh, I, th I think so. My right, because kissing's pretty easy. Me I am. Your, your wife likes kiss it. Her, yeah. Now, how long have you been married? Uh, I've been married uh, eight years. Eight years. Now, is, is there any time you put teeth in? I used to, but actually my wife, uh, who's, who's in the book, she's a very beautiful woman. Let's take a look at her. She's actually here in New York with me, with my kids, which uh -huh. is why I won't bring uh, Fred to meet her. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> you have a picture? I see you have a lot of pictures in this book. Yeah, a lot of pictures in there. And there you are without the beard. Right. Or you, uh, a bad looking guy. You are covered in blood in various pictures. But as my wife, uh, I used to, I was a little sensitive about missing my teeth, so uh -huh. I'd wear the flipper. Yeah. She was the one that truly loved me for who I was and uh, insisted that I not wear it because the kissing sensation was... Uh, was was uh, was better without the teeth. <laughs> Where is the picture of your wife? I don't see it. Um, you know what page that is? You no, know, somewhere around uh, 150. There's a couple of black and white photos. You must have really written this book if you yeah. know exactly what page. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Uh, somewhere in the 150 through, range. Yeah, get Fred to look through it. He'll find <laughs> it. Fred doesn't want to look book? at your wife. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do have the book. Beautiful. <laughs> this is a very Fred. Do you have a copy of the book yet? I uh, know. You're gonna uh, probably want that just because uh, you want to look at pictures of mankind. I can't believe you don't have the book. No. Yeah. It just came out. It keeps <laughs> using the word comp on me. Do you think that wrestling fans will buy the book, Mankind, or do you think that they only want to watch TV? Well, actually, I think a lot of fans will buy it, and the, the a strange thing is I, I, I think a lot of people who don't even like wrestling will enjoy it. Uh, we got one book review in so far from Jane Magazine, of all people. Mm -hmm. Right. Women's, they gave it four stars and talked about how oddly touching it was. Mm -hmm. So it, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of gore in there, a lot of blood. I think a lot of pretty decent humor in there. So, you know, it's a little touching. In fact, yeah. you Tell a story. Fans, you really? tell a story in your book about when you were in Germany, your ear got torn off the side of your head, yeah, didn't clean it? Clean off oh, my head. Yeah. Yeah. Clean off your head. Ow. And is it still gone? And that your yeah. ear actually fell onto the mat. Right. And after an operation, a nurse showed you the remains of your ear. Right. And you said it looked like the cheese on a pizza that's been sitting at room temperature. This is great alliteration. I love it. <laughs> Wait and a minute. Let me see your ear now. Well, you're sitting there. You're facing the uh, the good ear here. Oh. Right. Where's now, the bad one? Bad ear. Is this after uh, about five hours of plastic surgery? It's still... Let me see that. Wow. Let me see that it's thing. It's only like half an ear. Let me see. I can't wow. see it. I can't see it. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, look at that yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Oh, man. Oh. There we go. Wow. Can you hear out of that thing? Wow. Your ear really... You know, wrestling is dangerous. You got your ear. Look at Alpha Boy smiling like he's in love. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see how, how real it is. Man, it's it's not real. Oh, don't really I can't believe it. Can't do that. I mean, mankind. <laughs> Shut up, Alex. <Howard>. And <laughs> you said you asked the nurse if you could have your ear, right. and she replied to you in German that the mm -hmm. ear would be dirty and smelly. Right. She said, "Es ist schmutzig." And she threw it in the garbage. Right. Your ear. She threw it. You know, it was one of those little things with the little pedal. With a lid flops right. up, and she just like oh. flicked it, you know. Like it was nothing. Like it was, it was nothing. This it was your, nothing to her. This was like a piece of grizzle. Yeah. <laughs> and this was your ear. Surely, I mean, there's so like, you were attached to that. They could have floated it in a solution. Yeah. I mean, they could have carried it home from, in some kind of formaldehyde. Yeah. Here is a picture of your wife. Very beautiful. Was she a beauty queen or something? Uh, she used to be a, a model for many years. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, wrestling is yeah. good. Oh, oh, beauty and kidding. the beast. And, uh, you know what I'm proud to say? What did you say, Alpha Boy? Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Oh. She's not married to you. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Does your wife have teeth? 
Yes. Yeah, well, she I does. Do. She's never wrestled. The kids I'm, have teeth. And I'm, uh, kids, my kids are gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Wonderful yeah. kids. Kids have teeth, Robin. What's the matter with you? <laughs> my daughter, actually, her first tooth is loose. Oh. And she was afraid it was going to fall out while she slept. Yeah. She's she right. very concerned about that last night. Let's take a couple more calls. Mankind is here. Roy, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, Howard? <clears throat> hey, Mick. Roy. Yeah. Yes, what can we do for you? Oh, I thought you were going to... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, no. oh. All right, dude. <clears throat> hey, dude. I was just wondering, Mick, uh, first off, I wanted to say you guys are God, both of you. Me and, and Fred off, or me and Howard? Howard. Both, yeah, <laughs> not Fred, no. No, not me. Roy, you got to hurry along because I only have so much time, you know? All right, yeah, dude. Um, what's up with Draws, dude? Is he getting any better? Is he uh, able to walk yet or what? Yeah, I, was able, I was able to see Draws yesterday. This is and, the guy who uh, broke his neck. Yeah, yeah. He's paralyzed from his waist down? Uh, you know what? I went there. I wasn't, I didn't want to ask questions. Right. I was there just to, you know, talk with him. I didn't, you know, I felt, you know. Well, he didn't walk to the door and let you in. No, no. He's, you know, he's in pretty bad shape, but his, his spirits are up and a lot of the guys are calling. And of course, you know, the wrestlers are, you know, there's he draws in their hopes and, their, and the guys. Don't prayer. you think it's difficult for you and other wrestlers to go visit him? Because that's got to be your biggest fear, that you're going to get thrown onto a table, break your neck, and, and lose the loss of your uh, body. Uh, it's almost hard to confront that, isn't it? Uh, it? It is difficult. And even Draz said, you know, who would have thought with all the stuff that I've been through, you know, that he'd be the guy laid up. And the move that uh, that paralyzed him was a move, a commonplace. It wasn't. What was the move, actually? It was a, a power bomb. Power what, bomb. What's power that? Bomb. Uh, you kind of flip the guy up. Uh -huh. And he lands on his back, but hmm. uh, for some reason, I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't see it actually happen. Draws, you know, I didn't. Don't he landed on his neck. Landed on his head. And yeah. it was uh. Real bad. I mean, uh, it, it was it was very bad. So what, what does he have use of his penis? Did you ask him? <laughs> That's most important, I would think, to the fans. I, you know, I, I, I. You didn't bring I, it up. No, I didn't bring it Did up. Did you see an erection? Uh, no. Any kind? I, I, but most should brought elephant don't. boys. See if we get them aroused. Uh, <laughs> oh, let me help you, Draws. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. No, but his, his fiance is there with him, and he's yes. got a lot of support, which is great. And uh, you know, fans are sending him cards and letters, so uh, his family's behind him. Spartacus, you're on the air. I am Spartacus. 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 All right, come on, Spartacus. Do you have a question for mankind? I'm Spartacus. I saw mankind's penis. I am a wrestler. I'm disguising my voice because I don't want him to know who I am. Yeah, so what about it? It's very, very small. They should call him womankind. How, how, you know, this guy's not revealing anything new. I freely admit it be at least seven or eight times to uh, being hung like a Let wild Let me tell you ass. something, mankind. Your penis is more pathetic than Jackie's jokes. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Spartacus. And Gary is a horse-toothed jackass. Oh, oh, that's Sal, the stockbroker. <laughs> so you didn't have to cop to having a small penis. He was so, kidding. Uh, do you really? Do you cop in the? Do you say in the book that you have a small uh, penis? I mentioned it a few times. You talk do. about the Irish curse hitting me pretty hard. Yeah, uh, it's nothing to be ashamed well, of. Can I, can I mention? I can say the word penis on television, right? Yes, radio. you can on radio. Uh, I actually I didn't know how much the legal people would get a hold of my book. I mean, they had about 200 legal questions. And at one point, I referred to one of the wrestlers as being a genitalactic freak. Right. I actually had an attorney on the phone with me saying, explain the basis for return. And the guy will be proud. You know, I'll tell you, you know, two cold Scorpio as a genitalactic freak. And I thought, this is... Uh, it's a compliment. I said, uh, because he had a, a big penis? Right. And the guy says, is this true? I said, Yeah. Says, uh, can uh, will other people verify? I said, we've got a whole dressing room. <laughs> yeah. To verify. I said, besides, is this guy really going to bring me to court and sue me for saying he had a big? Yeah. What are the damages? Book? More chicks? Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. When I wrote my book, they each time I wrote a book, they they would have the, the lawyer. Legal department yeah. Has to go through. It. They got to yeah. make sure. And it's yeah. funny. It actually is a funny kind of. I should print the transcript of that. <laughs> Art, what do you want from mankind? Go ahead. Yeah, I want to know, Mick. Uh, what do you think about? Uh, People saying that hardcore wrestlers have no talent, as opposed to a, a technical wrestler like Bret Hart. Ah, I think they're entitled to their opinion. It takes a certain amount of talent to get hit with a garbage can. Yeah, I think know. so. I, I, you're not the technical kind, I guess. Uh, you know, I used to be a technical wrestler, Robin, and uh, uh, I was also sleeping in my car and eating peanut butter sandwiches. Right. This know? is a lot more lucrative, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I noticed uh, there's a very strong correlation between the less technical wrestling I did and the how much, more money I made. Uh, uh, you, you, how much interaction do you have with, like, Vince McMahon? Quite a bit. You does, know? He, does he really work with you? Uh, yeah, Vince you know? is there on all levels, you know. Vince is, I mean, he's an on-air He's a hands-on guy. Guy. Yeah, yeah, very hands-on. He's hands-on everything. Zach, you're on the air. Hi, Howard. Hi, Mick. Hello, um, Howard. Oh, no, what's his name, Zach? Zach. Yeah. Zach, how are you? Um, well, I'm nervous, actually. Yeah, um, go ahead real quick, because I'm running out of time. Um, Mick, I just want to say you kick ass, and um, I want to see you as world champion soon, so, uh, you know, 
Keep it up. Wait, wait, no, where have you, you ever had the world championship? Why don't they give that to you? Well, three times I've had that. Belt. Okay. All right. Wait last a minute. I'm not following your career like elephant boy. I'm sorry. All right, last time, Robin, <laughs> I held the championship. Uh, Governor Ventura was holding my uh, hand up in the air. Is that right? Yeah, and so you were at SummerSlam. Yes, I was. And it didn't matter that I only had it for a day. Because Aww. all that matters is that in my room, there'll be a huge poster of the governor of Minnesota <laughs> holding my arm in the air. That is crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you I can't see. even believe it. Will you run for real office at some uh, point? I don't know. Yeah, I, I could see voting Who for you. Who knew that you could go so far with wrestling? Now wrestling is a prerequisite. It used to be law school. Now it's a prerequisite <laughs> if you want to get into politics. Craig, go ahead. Hey, Mankai, what's going on? How are you doing, Craig? Listen, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I remember I was dude that was dressed up like Jericho, jumped into the ring. Was yeah. that for real? Yeah, uh, that was for real. Yeah. Uh, we had a <laughs> Uh-oh. Cactus Jack oh, not flubby, doing sorry. I, mean, I like that you clammed on, uh, I'm, I like that you clammed on Elephant Boy. That was I, good. I, I Elephant Thank Boy you appreciates much. that. You're such a big man that you can just clam up on Elephant Boy and there's nothing about it. Yeah, we had a fan, you know, occasionally you get a fan hitting the ring. This right. guy was hitting the ring. He was dressed as one of the wrestlers. I see. You know, so it was like, you didn't know what it was at first, you know, he came in and so... Uh, it's almost like it, you, it's an unwritten law. I guess it is legal. You have kind of free free reign when the guy hits the ring. So, so I got in a couple little cheap, you know. Not, actually, I just restrained him with a hold and put a yeah. little force on. And then I was hit. I did a, a small independent show. Someone hired me to an autograph session in St. Joseph, Missouri. And I was in the ring, you know, taking Polaroid pictures with the fan. I had my arms around a couple kids. A fan hit the ring and attacked me while I was taking pictures <laughs> oh, wow. with the Polaroid. It's know? unbelievable. Oh, they, they, no. get, they, get, they mix it up with you. Yeah, go ahead real no. quick. Stacy, you're on the air. Hi, Mick. It's Stacy Lacey. Hi, Stacy Lacey. It's nice to talk to you. Thank you. Now, you're going to be at the Virgin Megastore tonight, That's and right. I read I read on um, mcktoberfest.com that Rick Springfield has requested to meet you. What's that all about? Rick Springfield? How come all guys are requesting? Elephant Boy, now Rick Springfield. Well, I want to meet you. I'll be there. I'll be we, there. We have Janine in that group, too. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Are you going to hang out with Rick? Uh, yeah, I would Is like he a that. big fan of yours, Rick Springfield? I, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I hear through the grapevine I got different fans. Like who? Uh, like uh, like Rick Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> Any other famous uh, Mankind fan? Uh, Fred the Elephant Boy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Miguel, go ahead. You're the last caller of the day. Fans. Mankind, you are the best. You rule, Howard, king of all media. Mankind, my son does Mr. Sacco in my mouth every day, and I make him responsible for not hurting him. Can't you get arrested for your son doing, doing that? Yeah, he does it in my mouth, down my oh, throat, God. knocks me out. He's the best. What does it mean when your son does Mr. I, Sacco I down your throat? Is, I don't know what the <laughs> is that something about you want to hear about? <laughs> Elvin, well, you do Mr. Sacco down people's throats, oh, don't you? Oh, uh, yes. Mr. Sacco is a weapon I use. Oh, I yes. see. Okay. Listen, Mankind's book is called... Have a nice day, a tale of blood and sweat socks. Yeah. Elephant Boy, it's always good to see you. Even well, though you're, thank you, Howard. You're always threatening to leave, but it's always nice I to see you. I cannot stop it. Break it up. It's hard to do. Right. And Mankind, thank you. I, I, I uh, love seeing you. Mankind, everybody. Right, let's hang okay, out. Yeah. Come, you, where are you guys going to go right now? I don't know. We're gonna get soda to shops. You're going to go soda? eat with Fred? We're going to check out a couple of peep shows, I guess. Wear yeah. a face guard if you go to eat with him. <laughs> but, but we were with him one time. He had those little uh, oyster um, no, no, Torito crackers. No, chips. R R Torito chips. Torito chips. Torito yeah. chips. He was on a date oh. with a girl. The girl yeah. got sprayed with Toritos oh. when he was talking and it eating. It was like the Doritos were going through a wood chipper. Yeah, it was wild. So are you going to really eat with him? Uh, no, I, I want I want half not to eat the chip. You come my Right, he'll have only soft food. Yeah, soft food. All right. Warm, fuzzy feeling now, you know? However, it was nice to me. Right. Okay? Right. Hey, okay. So, Fred, you know what? Fred, you can I did not, I did not Fred can get I'm lost now. I'm not going to sign it. What we have been, if I don't sign it. So, so Mick, how was your reunion with Fred? It was, uh... I, I, I was nervous, you know. I mean, uh, since uh, since the time I last hung out with Fred, there's been a lot of rumors going around. Uh, some some bad images of Fred broadcast for public consumption. And uh, I thought, I was hoping it wasn't a you know, a bad, a bad projection on me, but I think people understand it. It's strictly a rugged, platonic type thing, you know. And if Fred has, uh, you know, has, has, has dreams about me doing bad things to him, then it's probably not the first, probably not the first time. Are you going to hang out with them the rest of today? Or not the rest of today. For the next hour or so, we're going to hang out a little bit, you know, but, uh, and I'm, and I'm actually thinking about, you know, uh, Having him meet my wife again. It's been eight years since he's seen Colette. The kids, though, will stay in a separate room. No, no, don't want to test the kids. Yeah, it'll be. Fred, are you happy that you're going to get to hang out with uh, Jack again today? I like to say, if it's busy doing something else, I don't understand, but nah, he knows me to be a good guy. I never, I never act like an AO. 
a hopefully he was thanking you for that. I'm like that to everybody. You know, we've got a uh, a video player in the. We got a limo. Do you yeah. got a video? Uh, no. You in the stockings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs>